I work on superconducting quantum circuits. So we build processors out of very novel materials which are superconducting in nature, which contain quantum bits or qubits. They are just like classical processor that we have in your phone. Like classical bits are either zero or one, but a quantum bit or a qubit can be zero and one at the same time. So we can process these thousand bits of data in one go. We then cool them down and at that low temperature, electric resistivity becomes zero. So electromagnetic waves, currents can flow without any hindrance. These are going to consume much less power than modern data centers. So in the longer run, we're going to have data farms that can be replaced by just a single quantum computer. The University of Glasgow funds all this modern research as part of the UK's development program. We have the biggest nanofabrication facility here, which is one of the biggest in Europe actually. The R helps us come together as a cooperative team and also in between different research groups. This kind of collaboration is very rarely seen because access to every lab helps us see what other people are doing. I came into this field primarily because I think it's cool. All the Marvel movies and everywhere you see quantum as a buzzword these days. It's kind of very cool to see like we can use materials that are found in nature like aluminium, silicon, and we can build processors which are exponentially hundreds of times faster than modern computers, which will probably change the world in a few years. My name is Riddhisham Karar and I'm a PhD student with the Quantum Circuits Group at the University of Glasgow.